Hello, uh, hello everyone. A uh, very good evening to everyone. Okay, I'm seeing some responses. A uh, very good evening to all. This is Jyoti from Tele Education Private Limited from Placements Team. I welcome you all for the exciting webinar. I just hope my screen is visible to you all. If you all can just submit your answers in the chat box, we would. Yeah, okay, fine. I'm getting some responses now. So the screen is visible and audio is also clear. So without wasting much time, because we have already wasted two to three minutes. So we'll just start the session. So before going ahead, I would like to sh just say a few words about our special guest today. I hope you must have seen the EDM and you must have read about something about Richard Maheshwari ma'am and about so many things. We have done many webinars as of now, whereas you must have already attended some interview sessions also. So this will be a unique session for all of you. We will be sharing some different information about the interview success mantra, which would be shared directly by Richard Maheshwari ma'am. So me from the entire placements team of Tally, welcome you all in this exciting webinar. I hope you all will enjoy it. We would have some call questions during the webinar. I request everyone to be attentive and be present in the webinar. It would be an interactive session. So please keep posting your comments and put that in the chat box so that we'll keep getting your feedbacks and answers also. Keep that live, okay? So before going ahead, I would like to say a few words about our special speaker today. Richa Maheshwari ma'am, she is motivational speaker, performance trainer and life coach. By her speech, by her webinar, you'll understand what does all that mean and how that experience like, would flow in her voice and in the session. We all will experience that today. Her passion is training, coaching, monitoring, and she is also, you know, managed to create world self-inspired and self-motivated people. She wants to encourage that. It's been 12 years of experience in this profession, and she has conducted more than 2,500 workshops. That means a lot. Actually, that's a huge number. For more than 300 clients. And she has trained more than 3 lakh people across various levels and industries. So it shows that how many industries she has already worked with. She has also conducted more than 350 workshops and on interview skills, campus to corporate workshops, personality development, and etc. Her specialty is on youth programs, keynotes and seminars, women empowerment, corporate programs. And what she says on her superpowers is persistency, positivity, prayers, and questions. That's so good and spiritual to know about her. She is a committed, disciplined, and result-focused professional. She would like to give dragging much on the my speech here. I would like to welcome Richa Varheshwari ma'am on the virtual stage and guide us all through the beautiful session today. Richa Varheshwari ma'am, if you are there, please come on the virtual stage. We all would like to hear you from there now. Thank you. Uh, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Judy, for that kind introduction. And, uh, and can you hear me properly? Properly, everyone? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Judy, yes. are you uh, now, able yes, to yes. hear me and um, see? Yes? Okay. Okay. All right. Great. In case there is any lag in the middle, you please let me know. Sure. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And your video is not visible. Okay, so uh, very, very good evening to all of you. Video is not visible? Okay, I have already put it on. Is it visible now? Um, I'll just see. Uh, I'll it's see. already... Uh, from audience, it is visible there. I can't see that. That is visible. Ma'am, you are visible. Uh, yes, ma'am. You are visible. Okay. All right. Yes, yes. So technology can be a boom. It can be a curse at times also. 
Okay, so um, uh, first of all, a very warm welcome to all of you over here. Thank you so much for your time to come here and attend this particular webinar on interview success mantras. Uh, my name is Richa Maheshwari and I'm really happy to be here and to share whatever expertise and knowledge I have with all of you. All right. So uh, Jyoti, you can uh, continue with your screen sharing. Um, that is fine. So in the chat box, okay. if you all can write down what, yes, uh, in the chat box, please write down which location have you joined from? Where are you joining us from? Let us know in the chat box, please. Are you joining from any metro cities or any in any small town, big town, whatever you're joining from, just put that in the chat box, please. It's so nice to be here with all of you. I really appreciate you taking out time from your schedules, busy schedules to attend this, right? Okay, so uh, very firstly, um, thank you, Jyoti, for that uh, you know super nice introduction that you've just given. Let me start by telling all of you over here that I have personally trained, motivated, inspired close to 50,000 students in my span of 12 and a half years of experience as a corporate motivational trainer and uh, 50,000 students have uh, been trained by me on interview skills specifically and on campus to corporate and personality development. So it gives me immense pleasure and uh, uh, really feels nice to be here with all of you and uh, take you through some of the things which is very important when it comes to interview skills. OK, uh, let's go to the next slide. And what will we talk about in this webinar, just to give you a small gist. In this webinar, we will talk about how can you ace your interviews in the right manner? How do you make a first great impression? Because we all know that first impressions are last impressions. So how do you make that great impression on the interviewer? We'll also talk about how you can get over this fear of facing interviews, because let's face it, 90% of the people today are scared of getting into an interview. You know, facing an interviewer and answering all those questions can be very very difficult and fearful for many of us so we're going to learn how do we navigate through that also we'll talk about what are some of the you know frameworks and strategy to get a successful interview done and how do you impress express and make that impact on the interviewer so that's what we will cover in this short webinar and towards the end uh, friends in the last 10 or 15 minutes i'll take questions from you all whatever questions you have please ensure that you note it down keep it ready last 10 or 15 minutes we'll only take off take on your questions and i will hopefully be able to answer all of this all of them yeah thank you let's go to the next slide and that's a poll question jyoti so if you all can launch the poll please for everyone and while I'm launching this poll, uh, I would uh, just request, I mean, I'll just give you the response from the like, places that you were asking because here is a huge response that I've got. So hmm. now you, everyone would see the poll questions on your screens. And by then I'll just read out the locations that everybody is from. So there are people from Pan India, hmm. uh, people from Raibareli, UP, Jharkhand, Himachal Pradesh, West Bengal, Kolkata, Karnataka, Bangalore, Bilaspur, Panipat, from across India, it's Kerala. Wow. So people from Pan India find us. Wow, wow. That's so nice to hear. Thank you so much, all of you, for being here. I really appreciate you, uh, you know, coming on to this webinar. And uh, for those who are from Jharkhand, let me tell you, I belong from Jharkhand as well. I'm from Ranchi, which is Dhoni city. And very proud to be, uh, uh, you know, somebody from Ranchi. And, but I'm living in Mumbai since the last 12 and a half years. So uh, for those of you who are from Jharkhand, some brownie points for all of you over there. Okay. Amazing, amazing. Mm -hmm. So, ma'am, uh, we have uh, got some response in the, on the poll. Uh, I just just would read it out for you. It is like some oh, eighty percent people have responded as of now. Please uh, select the right, uh, you know, the answer which you feel you resonate with. And sorry, thirty-five percent are saying all of above. Thirty-five percent are saying all of above. Am I audible? Oh, 35% are saying all of the above. That's that. Yes, yes, Jyoti, you are. Yes. Okay. And what about the rest? And 25% are saying not prepared. Hmm. Okay. Which is in highest. Not bad. Not bad. So, great. Third so highest. Ha. Huh. 
interview might ask some difficult question interview might ask some difficult questions then because you feel in spite of preparation you will be blank out and the option has been mm. uh, the least just four percent okay okay so the highest is which one Jyoti? it is all of the above all of the above so i fantastic so this is great guys because uh, most of us in fact 80 percent of the people feel that all of the above is something that gets them that fear in an interview you're not prepared you feel because of the even in spite of the preparation you may blank out and you may feel a little you know that difficult question coming your way so all of these things and all of the above if you have answered most of the crowd would have answered that so good to uh, you know uh, see that you all have done that but now let us move forward to the next thing uh, so jyoti if you can um, go to the next slide so why do we fear you know uh, this fear which is there in most of us why does this come across or why does this happen because of the it's very natural please understand fear of meeting someone new a stranger completely you know somebody who's going to take your interview that fear is always going to be there because it's natural it's many many people feel that anxiety so you're not alone okay everybody feels mostly 90 percent of the crowd feels that fear so it's natural secondly it's very basic human desire that you will seek approval and validation okay which means whenever you feel that somebody is judging you or somebody you know that you have to give the right kind of answers that fear or that basic human desire to please everyone is always going to be there and lastly please understand you have to get through that fear do not worry that fear will be there but you have to learn how will you manage that fear in spite of feeling fearful how can you show that you are not fearful how can you show that you are confident by taking care of these three tips let me tell you about those three tips if you can you can write that down first is believe believe in who not your parents not your sister your siblings your dog or whoever believe in yourself because the most important thing that we can do for ourselves is believe in our own self most of the time we don't believe in ourselves and that's why the fear is there so first and foremost believe and trust yourself that you will do well in the interview the second tip is visualize what is visualization imagine that the interview has gone successfully and that you know that you have really done well in the interview the interviewer has probably you know uh, given you a very good feedback at the end of the interview etc so visualize close your eyes imagine that you have got that perfect thing out of the interview you have interview successfully i have there is power in, through that interview i have to tell you this in visualization there is a lot of power in visualization if you do see you are able to actually make sure that that thing happens okay so visualization and the last part of it is make it happen ensure that after you believe and after you imagine and visualize just enter into it and make it happen trust yourself that it will go well and when you follow these three tips trust me if you do it properly you will sail through that fear you will navigate through that fear without any further uh, you know any other uh, anything else which might happen to you you will sail through that fear only if you take care of these three tips okay uh, am i visible to everyone uh, jyoti can you all see me As I'm sharing my screen, I think people from the audience, I mean, audience, can you? Yes. OK, so the moment we say audience, everybody is so responsive. Yeah, so we can see everyone. I mean, <laughs> everyone can see you. I'm so sorry. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you, and I so and uh, you know sometimes I have to you know technology as you all know it can you know you just want to make sure that you are properly seen, properly heard. So please keep uh, you know putting it down in the chat box, and I appreciate your your responsiveness, guys. I mean friends, you all are really good with being responsive. So thank you so much for that. Okay, moving on. So please understand these tips. Three tips are important. Now before we move on, I want to ask you all this question. Please put in the chat box. What do you think are some of the tragic mistakes or some of the most common mistakes which candidates make in an interview? Put it in the chat box, please. What do you think are some of the mistakes, common mistakes, which mostly candidates do in the interview? Ke time? Put it in the chat box. Whatever you feel is, are the most common mistakes. 
yeah so there are yes. i'll just read it out setting mistake introducing hmm. themselves look nervous hesitation fear they are getting nervous and ip nervousness lack of knowledge oh my god there are many <laughs> <laughs> in in appropriate answer okay. eye contact not confident so many hmm so not, many amazing not talking good, in good, a good, good very good answer right yes these are all some of the reasons why people have uh, you know what are the kind of mistakes which people make not having the right attitude not having the you know eye contact looking down not answering properly all of these things and of course whatever you all have said it's all all correct each and every response is correct over here guys so let's let me tell you about the five tragic mistakes which most of at least 90% of audience or candidates make in an interview jyoti can you go to the next slide please so guys these are the top five mistakes the first one is being stiff and robotic most of the time jab aap interview mein jaate hain you try to you know you become because of the nervousness and stress you become stiff you become like oh my god you know you don't move you become so like a robot and it becomes very you know it it may feel a little unnatural from the from the interviewer side to kind of talk to you in that state of mind so being stiff and robotic is one one very um, you know common mistake and you should be relaxed and calm about it secondly not maintaining proper eye contact yes which many of you have written in the chat box thirdly talking too long this is one mistake which many candidates make in the interview wo bolte hi rehte hain they keep going on and on and on with their long stories please understand the interview is scheduled for a very short period of time if you keep talking yourself the interview will i know will get a little bored you know after some time so avoid talking too long and continuously give a pause give a break and ask you know um, in between ask the interviewer for things so th uh, the fourth thing which many people make a mistake is not being thoroughly prepared they probably in that overconfidence or lack of confidence they forget to prepare themselves properly or they prepare them own, themselves only 50% and baki ka 50% is you know a god uh, by you know left on to god so uh, ensure that you are thoroughly prepared that's again one mistake which many people make they don't prepare themselves and lastly etiquette their manners they are not in alignment with what the expectation is from the interviewer's point of view okay so please uh, ensure see etiquette and manners are very very important part of an interview the way you sit the way you stand your manners these are all things which are seen in an interview and you have to ensure that you are aligned with that okay uh, let's go to the next question uh, sorry the next um, slide jyoti so can you imagine this data that you know every job every corporate you know every position that is advertised for you know for an interview 250 resumes the company gets and out of those only 8 or 10 will be called for an interview and only one will get that particular job for that particular position how can you ensure that you stand out from those 10 15 20 100 people who are applying for that same job how can you show that you are different because एक जॉब है बहुत सारे लोग देन अल्टीमेटली वन और टू गेट सिलेक्टेड राइट सो ओनली वन टू गेट हाउ डू यू इंश्योर दैट यू कैन स्टैंड आउट फ्रॉम द क्राउड कैन यू गिव मी योर आंसर्स इन द चैट बॉक्स फ्रेंड्स व्हाट डू यू थिंक विल हेल्प यू स्टैंड आउट फ्रॉम द क्राउड आई गिव यू वन मिनट प्लीज पुट योर आंसर्स इन द चैट बॉक्स व्हाट विल हेल्प यू टू स्टैंड आउट फ्रॉम द क्राउड या how can no, you make that responses abhishek yes jyoti saying what are knowledge you better yeah samir said skills kal kalay mm -hmm. said creativity joy said no ram said are unique skills khushboo said believe in yourself mm. and uh, there are many responses uh, like mm. i said this resume sunil saying personality anjali is saying attitude mm. and proper knowledge eye contact we saying attitude the gorav mm. saying communication and a lot of duplicate answers mm. also like smart skills knowledge okay. eye contact sure. skills confidence 
fantastic fantastic thank you jyoti for sharing so guys i i love the kind of answers which are coming in you know it's a mix of all the kind of answers that i actually wanted to you know uh, talk about in this particular session so etiquette manners communication the way you're groomed your body language your personality uh, your iq skills how much knowledge you have all of those things are important but my dear friends there are few things which are more important than the rest because as we mentioned earlier your first impression is the last impression in an interview you have to ensure that you make that mark and how will you make that impact uh, that mark or that impact we're going to talk about that very soon so let's go to the next slide jyoti okay you can click on one more time click on, yeah why is it important for you to make a positive impact in the interview why do you think you need to make that import that positive impact in the interview what are some of the reasons why of course because you want to get that job right you want to ensure that you are able to get that dream job of yours or in that dream company of yours that you have been honestly you've been you know you've been wanting to get into you know work in that particular company it could be accenture wipro it could be reliance it could be whatever you know your dream company could be in india or abroad but the important thing is in an interview the way your interview pro progresses or the way you present yourself in the interview can make or break an impression and that is why it's so important to ensure that apart from your hard skills which are your technical skills your soft skills are equally important because agar aapke paas bahut zyada knowledge hai if you are really you have lot of knowledge about everything but if you have the wrong attitude my dear friends you will not get selected in that interview and i have been a panelist in two of the important companies and major companies and i can vouch for it the way the attitude comes across in an interview can make or break an impression and the your dream job will go for a toss if you don't have the right attitude okay so let's move on to the next uh, slide jyoti now i have an important question once we go into the next slide yes so how do you think you can make an impact at the interview what do you think uh, if i have to uh, tell you if you have to give you you know um, percentage wise if you have to give uh, some percentage to hard skills and to soft skills how much percentage would you give hard skills is your knowledge is your education and background and uh, soft skills are the way you communicate your body language your interpersonal skills and all of that so how much percentage would you give hard skills and soft skills put your answers in the chat box let's okay, see so what are the kind of like answers coming in Responsive, very responsive. So Samir Ahmed saying hard skills 80%, mm -hmm. 50-50, and equally important soft skills and hard skills both are equally important. Self confidence, hard skills, soft skills, technical skills, tele knowledge, mm -hmm. 90% communication, and personality, mm -hmm. hard skills, soft skills, ability skills. Mm -hmm. So these are some okay. of the skills that everybody is like almost repeating. so we we are seeing more uh, more percentage for hard skills if i am not mistaken uh yes kind of right okay so Now, let me burst the bubble over here for all of you sorry yeah i was saying uh, still we are getting responses and it is a mix like it's 50% 50 50 like 50% even people are uh, is saying that ah. soft skills are more important Hmm. Okay. Lovely. Great. Good. Thank you so much, everyone, for your super quick responses. You all are really good. I must say on this. Okay. So let me show you the research which was done by the Dale Carnegie Institute of Technology, and that is a eye opener. It was an eye opener for me when I saw this for the first time many many years back when I started training people. This is what you see on the screen. Yeah, fifteen percent, which is at the bottom of the pyramid, is your education and domain knowledge, but 85% is your soft skills which means your grooming your dressing your communication your body language your etiquette social grace and your eq which is your emotional quotient imagine in an interview when you're making an impression for the first time your education and domain knowledge is not that important but more important is the way you carry yourself what is your attitude like how good are you with your communication how responsive you are are you a good listener or no so guys now what i'm trying to say over your friends is that 
nowadays technical skills is not so important but the way you uh, you know uh, showcase yourself your soft skills are more important hard skills will get you the job but to stay in the job you need soft skills yes so this is one reason why it's saying that you know it's so important to in, make an impact in the interview you need of course you need your education and domain knowledge but more 85% importance is the way you carry yourself the way you speak the way you show your emotional quotient etc all of these are important okay let's move on to the next slide now i'm going to share a couple of pictures with you i want you to tell me which one will you select out of this product a or product b uh, jyoti you can click click once more to get the uh, text yes please select everyone product a or product b and put it in the chat box which one would you select a or b you we don't have too much time so we'll have to make this very yeah. fast which what is the response rate jyoti so i would say 90% saying a just one or two was very rest okay, all like okay fantastic thank you let's move on to the next slide another another picture that is coming your way please select a or b please don't get hungry when you see this mcdonalds right in front of you <laughs> image a or image b image a is the one <laughs> you know it's it's evening snacks time so people start might start feeling hungry looking at the mcdonalds right in front of them <laughs> and well for okay. this image hype i mean everybody is uh, saying image b and people are even sharing emojis oh. ah lovely okay thank you so image b most of the people all right let's go to the next uh, picture ah uh, a or b which one would you select again i mean this is a uh, tea Product. time ma'am what have you done to us Yes, even I am wondering. Even I am feeling hungry now, looking at this Lay's and this McDonald's happening. <laughs> okay, so which one would you select? What's the response coming, Jyoti? It's ninety-nine percent. It's B. Just Sheetal said image A. Rest, I guess, everybody is B. Okay, all right, fine. And the last image is the next slide. Man one or man two? which one would you select man 1 or man 2 it's man 1 hmm. everyone what's the response man 1 everyone who her choice oh sorry bhatuni said 2 okay uh -huh. and mohsin said 2 okay. rest so everyone is going with man 1 right okay so yes. uh, Let let's uh, pause over here for a while and ask you all what made you select one product over the other. What made you decide that you want product A, product B, or man one, man two? What made you decide? Put in the chat box. What made you select one out of the other? Yes, there are quality presentation of the product. me uh, presentability dress up brand mm -hmm. quality presentation brand like mm. smart brand value well dressed so looks Perfect. grooming Perfect. so these are the kind mm. sure thanks thanks jyoti for sharing that and thank you so much for your quick responses everyone yes this is the reason why you all have mentioned that you know the presentation the way they groomed and the way they uh, you know the brand and everything of course if you go to mcdonald's and you ask them for a burger and if they just give you a burger like this without even wrapping it and putting it in a tray with some ketchup on the side and a glass of coke or whatever what will happen you will not feel like going there right i mean it's just like you can it it's a brand and when it's a brand it speaks volumes about the impression and that is what all of you just did right now you all made an impression and it took you how much time 5 to 6 seconds maximum 7 seconds to choose one over the other am i right yes so this is what is the impression that i was talking about your first impression is the last impression the way you package yourself the way you groom yourself the way you personality is shining then only the interviewer is likely to uh, you know select you over the other candidates the way you carry yourself your body language the way you sit stand all of these things make a big 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 impact 
on getting selected in an interview in the first few minutes the the interviewer is only scanning you is only scanning you from your top to toe the way you enter the way you sit down your manners your etiquette once that impression is made you are set then the questions and all will start then of course that's a different game altogether but when you've made that first impression you can be relaxed that yes you have made that impact on the interviewer so that's why we had this small session of this you know selecting one uh, product over the other why because presentability is important packaging is important the same ruffle lays you go to a local store and you ask for chips and they give you a you know slidey packed you know transparent uh, packet and they just give it to you like this and if you you go to a proper i mean if you ask them for ruffles they'll give you in the package of you know the packaging of ruffles etc so the idea of we your friends is to tell you that it's it's about the entire packageability it's about your presentability the way you present yourself is the way people will notice you etc okay so having said that let's move on to our next poll questions and uh, jyoti can you launch the next poll question please <clears throat> sure sure which of these and combinations the do you use Again, I guess, ma'am, you were very much every time you were saying technology. <laughs> uh, I just request my team members if any of uh, you can launch the call. I don't know why, but uh, my just mouse is not working on this. Jyoti, Malai, the if you're there, can you give me the call? The poll is already live, Jyoti. Okay. Okay, and that's why maybe I can can't see that. Thank you. Thank you. And to update you and. Um, Richa, ma'am, that uh, most of the people are uh, selecting option A. That is, tell me something about yourself. Got forty-two percent. Uh, why should we hire you? Got twenty-nine percent. Hmm. Okay. So I guess maximum people have chosen. Tell me something about yourself as the most stressful question in an interview. Yes. Exactly. Is it my? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so interesting. See, tell me some something about yourself. You know yourself the best. Nobody else knows you the way you know yourself, right? But this is a stressful question for many of the candidates. Can you imagine? why why do we get stressed out about a question in which we are supposed to know ourselves the best right so the entire interview process can be so scary and can be so fearful that you forget even about yourself can you imagine that i mean how how uh, hilarious is that it's so much humorous to even think about it right so tell me something about yourself this question can be scary for many people why because they may what 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 do you think is so scary about this thing probably they don't know where to draw the line probably they don't know ki kitna bolna hai kitna nahi bolna hai where should you you know put the line where should you should you over go over here or not etc but trust me these four or five questions are asked in every interview okay and in my course which is how do you crack interviews with confidence which we will speak about very shortly i have in short that for every single question i have given you sample answers this is how you can answer in that particular question okay this is the question and how will you answer what should you do and not do these are the things that we will uh, we have put it together very beautifully in that particular course how do you crack interviews with confidence so thank you everyone for sharing the poll uh, you know um, and stating your stressful uh, question in over with all of us so let me share this one very important theory according to albert meru when he was a very very well known psychologist he said that communication consists of three parts your spoken words which are only important by 7% your voice and tone which is 38% important and 55% importance is your body language imagine communication we always thought it was about talking talking and talking but in an interview also it's not the way how much you talk it's about 
the way you your action speaks louder than words am i right you all must have heard this statement action speaks louder than words in an interview you have to ensure even with speaking less you are still able to make that impact through your body language your postures the way you sit the way you stand the way you use your hands your palms etc all of these things can be a negative or a positive thing in a interview for example you are scared and you start biting your nails this shows what what is the show biting of nails in an interview put your answers in the chat box biting nails it's uh, what is the show the in an interview scared uh, yes stress fear in this your mm. tension taking tension scared mm -hmm. these are the duplicates i mean everybody these only lack of confidence possessive mm. possessiveness <laughs> great so good answers but uh, again biting of nail in an interview is a sign of nervousness it shows that you are scared and it if you bite near nails even if you are giving very good answers remember friends your answers may be perfect but while giving the answers you are biting your nails it shows what it shows that you are nervous it shows that you are not confident yes so imagine this situation body language speaks louder than your verbal communication and that's why this particular statistics or this particular data shows that only your words are important by 7% it's not so important but what is most important is the way you conduct yourself yes in your in your with your body language so don't show your nervousness even if you are scared put up a confident self put up a confident front okay now let's go on to the next slide this is how we can the framework for a successful interview it's called ace okay a c e e and what does a stand for a is for act confident c is for choose and showcase the right kind of attitude and e is for express and impress if you follow these three steps or if you follow this framework for an interview trust me you will sail far if you follow these three things that that interview you will get your dream job that is act confident agar aapko darr bhi lag raha hai interview mein which is very natural many of us feel uh, scared i was super scared in my first interview i was 18 and i had gone for my first interview with kingfisher airlines and dr vijay malia at that time was taking our interviews uh, i was super scared i was sweating my hands were uh, i was like perspiring all over i was shaking my hands were like literally i was super scared and i just didn't know how to handle that particular situation and that what my dear friends i'm talking about many 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 years back yes so it is a scary situation to be put in an interview and that fear will be there but if you act confidence if you act with see sometimes you have to fake it till you make it agar aapko darr bhi lag raha hai you tell your mind that yeah i'm confident i will sail through i'm going to get this job talk to yourself so act confident second is choose the right attitude if you have all the right knowledge you know all the technical questions which are being asked you have answered everything correctly but you have the wrong attitude you have the wrong tone you sound uh, arrogant etc you will not get the job my friend so it's important to balance everything and your uh, your etiquette your manners your attitude is seen an in interview the person can literally scan you with in in respect to your attitude and your etiquette so please be very very courteous thank you please i'm sorry apologies all of these are good words to use in an interview that shows your right attitude and lastly express and impress the way you communicate you have to ensure that you are able to impress the interviewer with little that you speak but make it meaningful and make it nice and you know uh, speak confidently so express and impress i know it will take it takes time with practice but ensure that you practice with your family members your friends etc and ensure you do that properly okay that's the framework for successful interviews please remember ace let's go over to the next slide jyoti and here we are talking about tips for ensuring that you are able to ace your interviews what are these tips let's go through it quickly 
the first one is be mindful of your body language please ensure that you are aware of are you showing a positive or a negative body language we'll be talking more about body language in the in the course that is prepared so ensure that your body language is proper the way you sit stand everything should show positivity not negativity folded hands hands across the chest like this is a negative body language friends it it shows that you are a close person you are not trustworthy putting a hand like this and talking covering your nose and your mouth area with your hand shows that you are hiding something that you are not being trust uh, truthful about something you know so these small small things you are fidgeting with a finger you know with a pen or a pencil or some something like that or fidgeting with your tie fidgeting with your hair these are all signs of nervousness it shows that you are not confident so be careful about your body language next is action speaks louder than words you already understood that first impressions are last impressions when answering the question sound confident be watchful of your tone don't oversell yourself my friends don't oversell yourself in an interview some people brag about themselves they talk about themselves that they are the next shahrukh khan of the industry you know so please don't oversell yourself be be within your limits be humble be honest be have values have integrity those are the qualities that the interviewer will appreciate about you if you don't know something honestly say i'm sorry sir i don't know the answer for that particular question but don't fake answers don't bluff these are small small things but they really make a big impact okay and lastly don't look desperate to get the job a lot of times people do this you know potential candidates going for an interview they look like they are in desperation to get that particular job please don't show that in your behavior your words your attitude etc all right make sense everyone yes no some comments would help me to know whether that was helpful these tips were helpful or no please put it in the chat box i must say the audience is very active my chat box is filled with yes thank you thank you so much everybody for that and that brings us to the end let's let's go over to the next slide which talks about what are your takeaways not mcdonald's ka takeaway but session ka take away what was your webinar ka take away today what did you understand in today's session give me two takeaways from the session in the chat box any two things that you learned today in this webinar put it in the chat box koi bhi do cheeze mm -hmm. uh, so uh, as always uh, very responsive audience amit jain has said confidence shamil said brains mm. up ram said presentation and interpersonal skills pallavi said right attitude anurag said body language and there are many i sorry if i don't mm. take your names be confident believe in yourself body language more important signs speak in limit way of impressive interview confidence high level of confidence confidence right attitude presentation kingfisher interview example is very good abhi i said confidence ओके amazing so uh, that is the end uh, that is the next uh, slide is the thank you slide i believe so uh, thank you so much everyone i have uh, shared all the information that i wanted to but now we'll open the floor for questions from your end if you have any doubts please put that in the chat box right away Uh, I think I had a few questions uh, from the audience uh, in between the session. I just 
I kept it for the last. So one question uh, was that you know if uh, they are not very fluent with English, how should they manage that situation and how should they ask the interviewer if they can you know answer that in Hindi? Hmm, a very good question. And who has asked that question, Jyoti? Um, sorry, because I just noted down the question. I forgot the name. I'll just scroll down to read the name for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. No problem. No problem. So it's a, a wonderful question. Agar, uh, if you feel that Hindi may answer karna hai, then how do you do it? And how do you ask the, uh, you know, if you're not very fluent in English, how do you ask the interviewer that? Well, uh, a good thing over here is at the very beginning, you can mention to the interviewer that, sir, I'm sorry, but my my English is not very fluent. If it is okay with you, may I speak in a little bit of Hindi as well during the interview? So ask for permission because aisa nahi hona ki interviewer English mein baat kar rahe, and aap Hindi mein answer kar rahe. So seek permission first and the interviewer will definitely appreciate that. So please seek that information uh, in that permission and then you can, of course, answer in Hindi. It's absolutely all right, guys. The important thing is you need to be able to express yourself to the interviewer, chai wo English mein ho, Hindi mein ho, ya any other uh, regional language. The, but important is, of course, you have to improve your English also because Nowadays, things are global and uh, English is a preferred language, but that is fine. It's okay. If you are interview mein, you're more comfortable in Hindi or a mix of Hindi-English, then ask the interviewer for permission and then you can go ahead. I hope that answered the question, whoever asked. Of course, ma'am. And let's have another and Thank question. you for explaining it. Uh, so, I guess uh, Saurabh Nayak has asked uh, two, three questions. Uh, so uh, one, he is very much interested in uh, knowing the uh, questions of your interview during the Kingfisher interview. And another one uh, that he said that how you can you know reverse the situation if you know the wrong wrong question. I mean, if you have answered something wrong and if you want to revert and take that question answer back and you want to say something new on that. So these mm -hmm. are two questions have been asked mm -hmm. by Saurabh Nayak. Okay, the first one I didn't really understand. I'll answer the second one. Uh, so if you have answered something wrongly, how do you take that back? So when once you answered, it's already gone out of your mouth. You can't take it back. But what you can do is, uh, you know, tell the interviewer or, you know, apologize to him saying that, um, I'm sorry, sir, that is not what I wanted to actually answer. If you give me the permission, may I answer that question once again? Um, uh, you know, if that's fine with you. So it's okay. See, all of us are humans. We are not uh, robots. We will make mistakes, right? So it's absolutely all right. If you make any mistake in the interview, mein, it is, please don't worry about it, but apologize and ask them for permission. And nobody will say, no, you've lost that, that chance of answering the question. I'm sure, I'm sorry, I will not get another chance. Aisa koi nahi bolega. No interviewer or no panelist will tell you that. So apologize. See, I'm sorry, sir. I could, I think I could have answered that question a little better. If it's okay with you, may I answer that once again? Okay. Saurabh, I hope that answered your question. Yeah. And another thing, I mean, the first question that Saurabh asked about uh, what were the questions during your first interview? What were the questions? Acha, the same kind of question. Tell me something about yourself. Why do you want to work with Kingfisher Airlines? So I think what happened with me was that I personally was very scared. You know, though I had prepared, but uh, I completely blanked out because it was my first interview. But the thing is that I still somehow managed to answer whatever I wanted to answer. I was able to man uh, answer it in the, uh, put it across in the right manner. I was very honest about whatever I wanted. I did not have any or give no answers or give any fancy answers. I said something, some very silly wrong, simple things. And I think that is what worked for me in that particular interview, though it was a disaster in terms of dropping water on myself and uh, almost slipping into the while going into the interview room by almost slipping and everything. But questions were of the similar nature, you know, the same kind of questions that are asked nowadays. But I ensured that I was able to answer them as honestly as I could with as much of clarity that I could have found that time. So those were, that's the answer to the first question, Saurabh. Mm, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Ma'am, another is from Sazan who's uh, wanting to know why should we hire you question? How can we answer this question? Well, like when it is asked, like, why should we hire you? Okay. 
Okay, so uh, a very good question over here. Uh, why should we hire you? Is a question which is asked in most of the interview. Now, why should you we hire you? You have to know what are your strengths, what are your skills. अगर आपको awareness नहीं होगा कि आप किस चीज़ में अच्छे हैं, you know what is your uh, strength area? Like for example, you may be good at managing people, or you may be good with your communication skills, or you may be excellent with your time management skills, or you may be good with your customer relationships. so here is the time you want to say all those skills that sir because you know i am great with people management i have good time management skills or i am good with customer relationship i'm good at handling problems i'm good at solving problems i'm a quick decision maker ye agar aap skills ya strengths ke bare mein baat karte hai to interviewer will realize that you are the right fit for the job bolna hi important nahi hai guys you have to also showcase it or demonstrate it they will put you under different situations jahan par they will test whether it is right or no you may say oh i have fantastic leadership skills and when they put you in a group discussion you don't take leadership at all you don't initiate any conversation you are the most silent one in that group discussion do you think that the interview will interviewer will select you no to bolna hi nahi hai usko practically you have to showcase you have to practically do it uh, that shows that you have good um, you know interpersonal skills or customer service skills and stuff like that so that is why uh, how you will answer this particular question why should we hire you think about your top 3 skills or your top 3 strengths which is in alignment with the profile or with the job that you are applying for us particular role ke liye teen important skills kya hote hain prepare your answers in alignment with that i hope that answered your question Yes, ma'am. Very well. Uh, I guess uh, I'm also receiving feedback that yes, thank you for explaining the answer. So there are many questions which are repeated. Like many people have asked the same question. So I'll again take it uh, from Sajan mm -hmm. who's asking the what are your weaknesses? It has been asked by many people. Sorry, come again. I didn't get the question. The question is, what are your weaknesses? If such question comes around, how should we answer that? yes so that good question what are your weaknesses see a lot of times when this particular question is asked what are your weaknesses we get scared because we feel ke if we talk about our weakness the interviewer might feel that we are not worthy of this particular position that we have applied for so it is important that you don't get scared by listening to a question on weakness just like your strengths your weaknesses are also important but you have to show that you are working on that weakness and you are improving yourself on that particular weakness it's a work in progress you have to showcase that in the in the uh, in the interview so for example you you know if a question is asked that please tell us about your weakness first of all don't ever say you don't have a weakness all of us have weakness we are not perfect guys all of us have weaknesses so please when you say this thing i oh i don't think i have any weakness it shows your arrogance it shows that you know you're being um, untrue to yourself so that is very important don't say you don't have any weakness and secondly when you talk about your weakness talk that you are speak that you are uh, you know working on that particular thing and improving yourself on it for example it can be that you say that one of my uh, weakness is that i am not very good with my english speaking but i am taking english speaking classes to ensure that uh, you know my english gets improved over the next couple of months i'm taking classes i'm reading english books i'm reading you know i'm watching english movies and news channels to improve my english on a day to day basis so ye aapne weakness bhi bata diya but at the same time you have mentioned that you're working on that particular weakness which shows to the interviewer that yes you are sincere you are hard working and you're working towards your weaknesses so that is i think that's how you can answer that particular question thank you thank you okay, so much ma'am and jindi we can have one uh, another important yes yes we can take one yes, last uh, question will uh, anurag um okay so anurag saraswat has asked uh, what course can we learn to you know increase our uh, confidence level or maybe to learn such skills if it is available uh skills for improving your confidence or skills for um, overall improvement of how you can apply for an interview yes yes for overall interview tips maybe 
इंटरव्यू टिप्स के लिए या सो दैट इज अ गुड क्वेश्चन सो आर कोर्स विच इज गेटिंग लॉन्च विच इज कॉल्ड एज हाउ डू यू क्रैक इंटरव्यूज विद कॉन्फिडेंस विल गिव यू ऑल दीज आंसर एंड मेनी मेनी मोर वेन इट कम्स टू इंटरव्यूइंग स्किल्स एंड हाउ डू यू गेन दैट कॉन्फिडेंस हाउ डू यू आंसर ऑल दोज क्वेश्चन इन द मैनर विच द इंटरव्यूअर विल गेट यू विल हैव अ गुड इंप्रेशन एंड टेक यू फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर जॉब दैट यू हैव अप्लाइड फॉर सो दैट कोर्स विच इज गेटिंग लॉन्च और ज्योति इट्स ऑलरेडी लॉन्च राइट it's it's already there on the platform yes yes right so uh, that is a course that you can definitely do otherwise there uh, you know there are ways to improve your confidence there are ways to enhance your personality and ensure that you get that uh, you know you are successful in the interview so um, there are a lot of videos available so you can you know uh, you can google you can search and you can surely get a lot of answers over there but the important thing is keep working on yourself keep improving keep practicing and ensuring that you are uh, you know uh, always learning and improving yourself i think that's the key learning and improving sure and, thank uh, you that's really helped um, can... the course I would uh, just like to add here the course has been uh, personally made by Richa Maheshwari Ma'am herself. So if you want to take the test, you can go and review the course also. Yes, the view video you go, you can preview, you can see whether you like, and you can definitely purchase the course. And I think it's something that has been made with a very simple agenda of. ensuring that many 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 people who are appearing for interview for their interview get to learn and get to interview in the most successful manner so it's made with very simple language no heavy jargons no extra information extra data and stuff like that and the best part about the course is that after every module after every uh, video there is a quiz and there is an assignment so you you have to ensure that you complete that quiz and assignment only then you should move on to the next module because that is for your own benefit it helps you to uh, whatever you've learned in that particular module there's a test so you can appear for that quick test it's not something which is very time taking or anything and there is a small assignment which helps you to implement the learning in from the module into your uh, into a practice mode so i think not only just theory it's also about practicality so whatever you learn in that video you put it into practice with the help of that small assignment so it's it's definitely going to help you overall in your interview skills and whatever topics we have covered in that particular uh, is uh, similar to what we have spoken about today we've spoken about body language in detail of course we've spoken about first impression is the last impression we've spoken about resumes guys Uh, your cv how you have to make your cv what are the different types of cv and how you can ensure that you are able to get the right format for your particular uh, the role that you are going to be applying for we've uh, spoken about these questions you know frequently asked questions and how you can answer those questions also we spoken about telephone uh, you know interviews if you have to give a, for, a telephonic interview and if you have interviews uh, scheduled on a virtual platform like a zoom or a ms team or something then how do you conduct yourself how do you give that interview even if it's not face to face still how do you make that right impression so these are the things that we have covered in that particular course which is called how to crack interviews with confidence yes so uh, so i think that brings us to the end of our session today um, thank you very much of everyone for joining in i guess it uh, it has been a very session for all uh, thank you for your questions i'm sorry we were not able to answer all the questions because of time uh, constraint uh, but i hope it was a good session did you all learn something was it valuable please put your comments in the chat box how did you like today's session if there are any improvements please ensure that you put that also it will help us to improve ourselves for the next webinar uh, yes ma'am and that uh, keep, you know keeps us uh, motivated and your wonderful session has really at least started me for my upcoming uh, interviews also and also i would have i have learned many things that i can share with my learners and our partners have also joined the sessions and they can also share with the learners and the students and now definitely the course can also be an added advantage so 
for those who have joined late for those who could not get the complete maybe the gist of the webinar we will be sharing the recording of the entire session in a mail along with the details of the course as well as the session so you will get that so here i would just request everyone to put your feedback in the poll also in the chat box your feedbacks are really important to us it will help us to get another better session for you in the future as well thank you everyone and thank you so much richa ma'am for taking out time for us and for our learners and partners to share your wonderful ideas and wonderful learnings with us the session was so amazing so informative and of course so foodie that we all enjoyed your session a lot of course and we have got wonderful thank response you so wonderful much response today <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much, Jyoti, so for uh, being an amazing host, and, <laughs> and thank you to all of you who have joined in. Thank you for your taking out time from your busy schedule. I really appreciate it. Uh, please feel free to give your feedback, and also do uh, you. You all will get the recording. You all will get the course details. Um, if you feel like, please do purchase the course. I can guarantee you that it's going to really help you to improve your skills, which are needed to make through that ace. and you know uh, really be successful in in your uh, upcoming interviews if you're having any upcoming interviews as of now okay sure ma'am of course and uh, we got very good feedbacks from the audience as well we would be sharing the same with you as well ma'am because there's all our blessings and all uh, you know good vibes from the audience that we receive for you especially for today's session Sure, sure, uh, okay. sure. When is the Sounds next webinar? Good. Good. We are informed about. We will inform you. We will keep you informed about about our upcoming webinars. Stay tuned with us. So please uh, put your answers for the poll and uh, have a great day. Have a great evening ahead and a weekend again because it's a Friday. And जिनको भूख लग रही है, please जाके फटा फट अपने लिए order कर लीजिए because मुझे तो लगा हुआ है. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> uh, thank you thank, thank you everyone bye bye take care god bless take care bye bye all the very best for your upcoming interviews yeah bye 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 ma'am thank you so much thank you everyone